Hi, I'm Jenny, sewing blogger and pattern designer from CloverAndViolet.com, where I also share free tutorials to use fun quilted elements to decorate and accent your home. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to make a pillow cover with a zipper that will add a professional touch to your handmade items and also keep your pillow cover on your pillow nice and tight. The zipper we'll be using is just a regular old zipper. Many pillow zipper instructions call for an invisible zipper or a zipper that is much longer than the ones you can find easily. This zipper is going to be easy to install and it will provide a great update to your home for the seasons or just when you're ready for a change of decor. So thank you for joining me. So first let's gather our supplies. Other than your sewing machine, cotton thread, and then an iron and an ironing board, you're going to need a pillow form. Whatever size pillow form you're making is going to be what size you're going to also cut your pillow pieces to. I'm making a 20 inch pillow, so you'll also need a pillow front. This is my pillow front. It's a piece of quilted with a piece of batting and fabric on the back, quilted fabric. If you don't want to do a quilted pillow, you could just use one piece of decorator fabric or you could use quilting cotton with um, interfacing on the back. I like to use Pellon Shape Flex 101. That gives about the same thickness as decorator fabric. You're going to want to cut your pillow front to the exact size of your pillow. So this is 20 inches for my 20 inch pillow. Do not worry about seam allowance. That will make your pillow fluff up a little bit better. You're going to need a zipper. I am just using a plain old 16 inch zipper which is shorter than my pillow length but because of the way we're going to put the zipper in that is not a problem at all. In fact it makes it a little easier. Sometimes those long zippers can be hard to find and only come in white or black. You're going to need your backing fabric to overlap by about 2 inches. So I'm going to cut mine 12 inches by 20 inches and I'll show you how to cut that in just a second. So that's your backing fabric. Then an option is to get a double sided fusible tape. This is steam -a seam 2 and it's actually permanent but that's not necessary. This will just make your zipper a lot easier to put in than using pins, but it's totally optional. A lot of times I just freehand my zipper in without pins or tape, but I totally recommend this if you have not put in a zipper before. So, now that we've got our supplies, let's get started. All right, so after you've cut your fabric, you're gonna take it over to your ironing board and you're gonna iron a half inch fold on the bottom of the top piece and then on the top of the bottom piece. This will finish your edges. Um, and then you're going to want to take your zipper and get ready. If you're going to use the steam -a seam or um, a fusible tape, I like to take it and cut it to the length of my zipper. And then I like personally just to cut it in half using my scissors. Um, I find that using a really narrow piece on your zipper makes it a lot easier for fusing and then if more of your zipper shows you don't have this pesky tape getting in your way. So I cut one piece the length of the zipper and then I'm going to cut it in half and then use my iron to fuse it each side of the zipper like so right along the very edge. See how this takes up most of the zipper tape anyway? All right, so let's fuse that. So once you've ironed your tape, you're just gonna peel the paper off the back. And then you're gonna take your zipper face down, your fabric face up, and place your zipper right along the edge and fuse it in place. Or if you're not gonna fuse, just grab a couple of pins. and pin your zipper in place. Or you can just hold it when you sew, which is what I usually do. But if this is your first zipper, I would recommend either fusing or pinning. So let's press this down, fuse it in place, and then head to the sewing machine. Now we're ready to begin sewing. So you can see that my zipper is fused to the right side of my fabric. 
and I've got my little bit of a fold right here. I have my regular foot on my sewing machine. Let me just close up. I have my regular foot on my sewing machine. And then I'm going to take my needle position and move it as far to the left as it will go. I'm right handed, so I'm moving it to the left. Then I'm going to place my zipper on the sewing machine. My sewing machine starts with a um, with a fixed stitch, so I'm going to put the zipper the foot down and start stitching right next to my zipper. Now when I get near the closed part of my zipper, I'm going to put my needle down, raise my foot up, and I'm going to unzip my zipper. This will help you to get a nice even stitch instead of a little bump as you go around the zipper pull. And I'm going to continue stitching all the way to the end of my zipper. And then I'm going to lift my foot up. Cut the zipper away, and then when we fold it open, your zipper is nicely sewn to the edge of the fabric. Let's take that to the ironing board and get it a little press. Okay, so at our ironing board we've gone and we have pressed the seam open, and now I'm just going to get a little top stitch along this line. This is the bottom of your pillow. So if you're using a directional fabric, make sure you're working on the bottom. I'm just going to top stitch this whole length. like it a little fancy. At the end, I'm going to cut my thread and then I'm going to give it one more top stitching just for a double layer because I think that looks extra nice. Then we're going to go fuse this portion to the top. So I will go fuse that to the top. <laughs> 